In the small town of Washington, Indiana, lies one of the oldest, most famous high school gyms in the state, and the 12th largest in the country. This is the Hatchet House. Larry Bird, Damon Bailey, Steve Alford. They've all played games at the Hatchet House, but in Washington, Indiana, the big name is Zeller. All three Zeller brothers, Luke, Tyler, and Cody, led the Hatchets to a total of four 3A state championships. Three titles under coach Gene Miller, who's still building great ball players here in Washington. You know, it's something that uh, every coach looks forward to win a state championship and you know to be able to do it three times uh, in four years was just a tremendous tremendous feat and I was lucky enough to coach some very good basketball players during those years. It's a tremendous um, time in Washington basketball uh, that's that's for sure. To coach uh, Cody uh, and uh, Tyler uh, both players playing in the NBA they were great people great young men uh, they've set great examples uh, for everybody that plays here at, at Washington High School. And it's really an honor to, to coach them uh, and to coach the teams that they were on. While the Zeller brothers are legendary in Washington, so is the arena they played in. The original Hatchet House was constructed in 1925. Since then, the school has produced four Indiana Mr. Basketballs, won seven state championships, and has 13 individuals in the Indiana Basketball Hall of Fame, including Coach Miller himself. The induction into the Hall of Fame was quite an honor. It's something that I never planned on being. I think it just tells you the kind of players that I've had over the years. I've had some players that are very coachable, been great players, and have worked very hard together for the team's success. The importance of basketball in the town of Washington is uh, utmost. It's something everybody looks forward to coming to and watching. Hey, go, I think each one of our players uh, feel that uh, when they walk out there on the court. It's been a great four years playing here. I mean, I've been around the AAU circuit some during the summer, playing with my friends and stuff, and got to go to other gyms, and nothing compares to this place. I mean, it's great. It's really awesome. It's really kind of a prestigious place, and it's always it's always a goal of every kid growing up around here to be able to play here. And it's the thing to do is to come watch basketball at the Hatch House. It just really keeps the town united. There are 7,090 seats in the Hatchet House. And from 2008 to 2011, fans filled nearly all of them at every game. And when the state tournament began, Coach Miller says games turned into standing room only. Probably the biggest crowd we ever had here was uh, in the regional final game, um, we were playing number one ranked Evansville Memorial here for the championship game in the regional, and uh, it was unbelievable how many people was here. You know, I think it was one of those where the fire marshal may have turned his eye away. Uh, we were able, fortunate enough, to beat Evansville Memorial and then go on and win the state championship. But that's one of those games I'll never forget. Since Cody graduated in 2011, attendance has been down at the Hatchet House but Coach Miller is hopeful the large crowds will return. One fan and former player still makes it to every home game. Where's the best place in Indiana to watch basketball? Right here, where I'm at now. <laughs> Even those rooting for the opposing team enjoy watching basketball here. I think the Hatches House is the most awesome place to watch a basketball game ever. Oh, the Hatchet House, of course. The Hatchet House. The Hatchet House. Hatchet House. The Hatchet House. These days, the Zeller brothers have little free time to return home and catch a game at their alma mater. But they still stay in touch with their old high school basketball coach, and Miller had the chance to watch his former players face off against each other this season. I think it was November 2nd, the second game of the year. Uh, Cleveland played at Charlotte, and I was able to go to Charlotte and. Uh, uh, see both of them play on the same court in the NBA, and that was quite an honor. For the Chevrolet Indiana Prep Zone, I'm Lauren Gray.